Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so I have a whole bunch of makeup that I have bought for videos and not had a chance to film or whatever it is. But this time I made an order on ColourPop. Um, none of this is like new products at all. I mean, they're new to me. I've never used them, but they've all been out. It's this blush stick which is just a ColourPop blush stick, and then some of the Hocus Pocus makeup and the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. So I'm barefaced. I also went to, I don't know, the drugstore and got a new Physicians Formula primer. Um, what are you? You're a L'Oreal bronzer and this, this Protect and Tint it's a tinted moisturizer by Neutrogena um, that were all on clearance. So I figured I would try them, but I got a new tinted moisturizer that I've been liking. So I'm going to, I, don't, I think I'm gonna do my eyes first since I haven't, I, I don't think I've ever used ColourPop eyeshadow palettes and I have a feeling it's going to be very pigmented. So I am going to take, all of my stuff is on a table here. I will do my best not to be super, 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 super out of frame or anything. Um, but I'm just gonna take my CoverGirl concealer on my eyeballs as a primer, cause I don't have a proper eyeshadow primer. I opened all of the makeup and took it out of the boxes uh, when I, well, like the day after it came, it came a couple days ago. But I figured I would film it and get whatever my first reaction of the products is. Not that I have any idea what I'm actually talking about. Um, this is not a tutorial at all. But I figured I would play and see. But isn't this just so cute? It's a 12 pan palette. Like I said, it's not new by any means. I did take it out of its outer packaging and it has a nice mirror. And then, oh my gosh, this, this color story is beautiful. You have a protective sleeve on here that I may or may not be able to get off. Um, yeah, on camera. I, this is not the shirt that I'm wearing today because there's no way that I can make this color story work with this shirt. I just know who I am as a person, but Oh my gosh. Let's take a big fluffy brush on Dear Friend, which is this color here. And lots of fallout in the pan. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Oh yeah, that's pigmented. So how's everybody doing? What do we wanna see? I really like this color a lot. It's nice and pigmented. It I really only had to dip in twice, one, once for each eye. And it's blending out really nicely. I'm getting a little bit of funky patchiness here, but I think that's me, because most of my eyeshadows do that, and I'm not really sure why. And it's not even usually that eye, so it has to be me, right? Has to be application. That's a really pretty color. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a, another fluffy brush and dip into Meant To Be, which is this cool, nice, cool tone, kind of gray. And blend out that upper edge. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just dipping into colors and making it up. So do not take this as a tutorial, please. It is not. This is someone who has no actual idea what they're doing, making it up as they go playing with color and hoping for the best. That is really pretty though. And I'm torn because I really, really want to use this Halloween Town color. It's like a black with multi-colored glitter. Oh, and it's so pigmented. I don't even know if you can see the glitter in that. But I have the Hocus Pocus Super Shock shadows that part of me wants to use. This is Christmas Town. Is this 
uh, pink, and then frog's breath. Honestly, the three colors that I'm most excited about in this, I may not even get to use today. So that's frog's breath and Christmas town. Oh, they're gorgeous. And then Dr. Finkelstein, this purple. Cause these three, oh my gosh, I can't do this right now. These three shades are like my, I'm most excited about those. The three shimmers in that corner. I got a cute headband for when I do makeup. I might put it on before I do my foundation. I'm not sure. Um, but if I put it there, my cat will steal it. But, all right, let's take a more dense packing brush. And I'm gonna look and see what color colors the Super Shock shadows are. Is that what these are called? I might be making that up. I took the outer packaging off of this too, but I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Super Shock Shadows. This is I Smell Children, and it's a purple. I think these are duochromes, but I'm not 100% sure. And then this is the cutest packaging. I love it. I don't even want to get rid of it. And then I have, I put a spell on you, which is a nice gold. And, oh, this one's broken. That's problematic. I have, I am beautiful, which I, I'm not gonna tip, but can you tell that that's all broken? And then the two lip colors I have are just a black and then this really dark purple, which are, Tonight We Fly and Hello Boys. And honestly, this is like everything lip color wise for me. But I don't know that I'm gonna be able to use it right now. I mean, I may try it, but depending on what I do on my eyes, there's gonna be a lot going on. So I'm going to go back into the Nightmare Before Christmas palette and take this, what is it? Everybody scream this nice berry color and tap that on. Oh, it's not as dark as I anticipated. We're just gonna tap that onto my lid. And I'm really just packing color on for now and then I'll blend it out a little bit. And there is a lot of fallout on my cheek. So I'm very glad I did not do my base. Oh, and my shirt. Okay. Uh, so I'm very glad I did not do my base first. Because that would have been nice. I don't think my eyes are even. I think this one's darker, but that might just be me. Um, I'm going. Okay. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. It's literally just a sponge in a tin, but it's great for getting color off of brushes to switch colors between during makeup looks. Or yeah, so you don't make a mess. I'm going to take out, take that same uh, fluffy brush that I was using before, and I'm just gonna, there's a cat hair on my nose. I'm just gonna blend out that like maroon color, and diffuse that edge a little bit. That is really pretty though. Go a little bit closer. That is really pretty. Um, and then for the super shock shadows, I'm gonna dip into I Small Children, which is this nice pretty purple. And I think I wanna try both with a brush and with my finger. So I'm going to take this flat, uh, where are you from? BH Cosmetics, that's what I thought. I'm gonna just take this flat packer brush and dip in, oh, it's almost creamy. Oh, it's so soft. That's really pretty. I have a feeling this is going to be one that I have to do with my finger. And I'm just going to press, nope, finger it is. I'm just gonna press that onto my lid. I like that. 
so there's the eyes um i'm not gonna do a lot to my eyes though from back here it looks a little scary because none of my other makeup's done but yeah that's really pretty i really like that i think so i'm gonna save the packaging to this um so i can contact ColourPop and see if I can exchange it, or at least exchange this one, because I know they sell these individually too, um, since it's broken. And that's kind of sad. I paid not a lot, but good money for those. And yes, I know it looks silly, and no, I do not care. Voila. It's really soft, actually. Um, and I'm going to prime with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Putty Primer. Um, this one's more hydrating. This one is poreless, so it fills in all the gunk. Um, and I don't know why, I just really like mixing the two. I use the e.l.f. in my T-zone, could not remember the word, and the Physician's Formula on the rest of my face. And no, my brain is not working properly. I am so sorry. And I don't care if there's a way you're supposed to do this. This is how I do it. I literally just put it on my sponge that I use for everything and dab it on my face. And yes, this is hair dye. I did my hair last night and this morning it's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. And then for the poreless putty, I'm just gonna dig, that was more than I meant to. I'm just going to put some on the back of my finger and rub it into my fingers. I took way more than I meant to. So it may end up on more of my face than general. So I would love to know how many, I know I don't get that many views right now. I'm still a fairly small channel. Um, but if anyone wants to know kind of the like mental, oh, the mental process of like going through planning a wedding as someone who doesn't have or make a lot of money and is doing everything not everything, but doing a lot of it themselves, doing a lot of DIY, finding a lot of things. Um, if you want the story of our engagement, I'm sure he would be willing to tell you he's back in the bedroom, which is why I keep gesturing that direction. Um, the like mental toll that it takes being a plus size person who's not comfortable in their skin, shopping for a wedding dress and shoes and just kind of everything. I don't know if people really think about things like that if they're not in that situation. So if you guys would care to hear that, just like while I'm doing my makeup at some point, let me know. Um, I'm going to go in with the tinted moisturizer. Again, I don't care how people usually do it. I put it directly on my face and then beat the heck out of it with a sponge and a brush. I actually tend to like this better with a sponge, at least from my experience. And I actually bought this on a whim because uh, it was on clearance for a couple bucks at Walmart. And I was like, hmm, I've never tried that. Why not? I really like it. I tend to prefer blending out with a brush and then going over it with a sponge. I just find for me, sponges take entirely too long and I get bored of doing this. And I don't know, I don't love a sponge. My skin is really angry today, so like it's not gonna cover up this or this. It is just a tinted moisturizer. All right, it's 
not my favorite right now, but you know, I do like it. Um, this feels like it's sliding off my head. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl concealer again and just, I can't do it from the camera. Do the inner corners and then do the high points. And I am just gonna take the same sponge. Sometimes I'll use the same flat side, sometimes I'll go into the corner. I'm not a makeup artist. Feel free to tell me all of the things I'm doing wrong. I may or may not listen. This is just what works for me. I don't even do my makeup the same way every day. It dried really quickly in here and it doesn't give me much coverage. So I don't love that. But uh, here we are, that's fine. Normally I would do powder, powder, oh my gosh. But I do have this cream blush stick, which I've never used cream blush. And I've seen people put it directly on the skin. I've seen people put it on their hand to warm it up and dab it with their fingers. And I've seen people go in with a brush. So I think what I'm gonna do is put it directly on my cheeks and then blend it out with a combination of brush fingers sponge. Cause I have no idea, but this it's in the shade. Oh no, do you not say the shade on you? Um, shell out, I think is what it's called. And it is just this really pretty, I did swatch it when I bought it or when I received it and opened it. And it is right here. It shears out nicely, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, so we're just gonna, I put blush really high on my face because I have a very round face with very round cheeks and I don't want to accentuate that by putting too much product like in here in the hollows of my cheeks. Um, we're gonna try with a brush first. Oh, it's really pretty. I really like that. I'm not generally a blush person. I feel like my skin is already pretty red and I don't really wanna to add to that. I used to be someone who completely blank canvassed out my face. I found a super like full coverage foundation. I never used concealer to highlight or bronzer to or contour or anything really to define. And I did my eyes and my lips and that was it. So I was just no features at all. And then eyes and lips. And I don't do that as much anymore, but I still don't accentuate like here because I don't like that part of my face as much. That's really pretty. That sheared out really nicely. It doesn't appear to be accentuating my already red cheeks. I really like that. It's a nice flush of color. They did have other colors, but I thought that that would be the best for me. Um, I'm going to set my face and then bronze because I don't have any other cream products. I actually, for the first time ever, have a loose highlighter. Wish me luck with that. I just use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder. Honestly, I use whatever powder I have and grab. I haven't found a powder that doesn't look overly powdery on my skin. And I am honestly just going to avoid the cheek area, like where I laid the product for a minute. And that's all I do. Sometimes I'll bake my under eyes, but like, I don't care that much this time. I don't feel the need to. I don't need it to like stay forever. Um, I am then going to grab my bronzer, which again, I got on clearance at Walmart. It's the L'Oreal Bronze Please in La Terra. Don't judge me for how I say that. It needs 
a mirror. That would be super helpful, guys. And I literally just bronze basically where I put blush. Generally, I would do bronzer, then blush, then highlight, but I don't have a cream bronzer or cream highlights and I don't have a powder. I mean, I have a powder brush, but I wanted to try the cream blush. And I've really been liking this bronzer a lot. Sometimes it'll look muddy right here on me, but that's just because of how my cheeks sit. Um, I get a really defined line from like the center of my ear to my chin and under my chin where my double chin is. So there's not really a lot that I can, or that I've figured out how to do with that. I just kind of have accepted it. Um, sometimes I'll just blend out more. It just looks muddy then. Um, also, I can feel myself leaning forward because this is falling off of my my uh, head. Um, whatever's left on my bronzer, brush. I just tap onto my forehead, which with my normal foundations shows with this foundation or this tinted moisturizer didn't, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. It's just so I don't have a line and I don't have to blend product into my hair. Um, I have this ColourPop Loose In The Groove Loose Powder Highlight. I'm a little scared of it. I swatched it and it's really, really pretty. Um, but I don't have a proper highlight brush. I also don't know why I keep doing air quotes. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have a proper highlight brush. Um, so that should be interesting. I have this angled fluffy brush, which I've used for highlighter. It's just really big for the size pot that this is in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna swirl in the lid and tap and then go in and hope it's not super aggressively bright. That's really pretty actually. Wow, I like that. Um, one of my things with highlights is they tend to accentuate my texture, which is something that for a long time I tried to hide and still kind of do sometimes. I have a lot of texture on my skin. I had really bad acne when I was younger and it's always been something that makes me self-conscious. But as I get older, I realize that normal people have texture and nobody notices except me. Um, that's really pretty. I really like that. Um, I'm actually going to contour and highlight my nose really fast. Cause I can do that with an eyeshadow brush. I have bunches of those. I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and swirl, swirl, tap, tap in my bronzer and do one side, one side. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. And the tip and then take a pencil brush and Highlight down the bridge and the tip. And then I'll blend that out with my finger so it's not so, so, <laughs> so anything. Um, I really like that highlight though. I didn't think I was gonna like the loose highlight. I thought I was gonna be like Edward Cullen on my skin. Um, but I like it, it's pretty. Um, I'm not doing eyeliner cause I'm lazy and I don't want to and I don't feel like messing up my eyeshadow to have to redo it because I know who I am as a person. And mascara, I'm just using the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I'm using the waterproof one, I love it. It has this wand that bends, which I think makes it easier. And I love the formula. I've never had issues with it clumping. The wand is really nice. I love this mascara. Because of the shape of the wand, I can get really nice and close in my lower lashes. Sorry, I realized you couldn't see what I was doing, but I needed the mirror close. And that is one coat of this mascara. 
pretty, right? Love it. Um, okay. Now lips. This is that berry color and then there's just a black. I think I want to do the berry color. Um, I feel like black would just be too, I mean, this will be really stark against everything else I'm doing. That's a very interesting shaped applicator. I mean, it's standard doe foot, but it's kind of wide on the bottom, which I wasn't expecting. Honestly, this is a color I would go for all the time. I love this. Absolutely love this. I will use this forever. It will, it, I don't think they mattify. I believe they were cream lips. Um, so they'll stay transfer-y, whatever. They'll, they won't mattify down and be transfer proof, um, which is only slightly problematic. Uh, I wouldn't wear it to work only because I work with kids. I don't want it all over their clothes, faces, anything. Um, yeah, see, it transfers, and this has been sitting on my hand the whole video. Um, so I wouldn't wear this to work necessarily. It also stains, um, but I do really like this color. Um, but that's everything I have for this video. Um, I really should practice my eyeshadows some more in general. Um, but again, this isn't a tutorial, so you know, here we are. But if you liked what you saw, you want to see more by, more by me, more from me, uh, let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below. Share it with your friends, share it with your neighbor, whether you like them or not, um, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.